Good morning from Chile, Romania. After spending over two weeks exploring the beautiful Transylvania region, a seven hour train ride brought us to the north part of the country. So, right now we're in a city called Sigetu Marmatse. I think that's how you say it, but all the cool people call it Siget. So, that's how we're gonna call it for the rest of the video. And this is exactly the kind of place that we like to explore because not a lot of people end up coming here. So, we're basically the only tourists in town. But the city also has kind of like a heavy history that we're really excited to learn about and share it with you. And we're also gonna try some traditional foods because we need to warm up our souls because it's gonna be cold and a little bit rainy later today. So let's start. So today is Sunday and it's about 10.30 in the morning but Siget is completely dead. I don't know if everyone's still in bed or in church, but there is not a soul in the streets. Don't know what's happening in this town today. So our first stop today is the memorial to the victims of communism and the resistance. We haven't really spoken much about Romania's communist past since the Bucharest video, but right now where we're standing was one of the most well-known political prisons in like the 1950s during the first dictatorship after World War II. All of these names here were victims of communism and people that fought during the resistance. It's very intense. I think the old prime minister, the first prime minister of Romania, he was held here and he died here. Religious leaders, professors, like any political opponents held in this prison, many never made it out. This place is intense. So there were basically two famous communist dictators in Romania. I don't know if famous is the right word, but anyway, most people know Ceausescu, but before him in like the late 40s to the mid 50s was a guy named George George Dej. I also don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, but he's the one that was in power when this political prison was kind of like imprisoning all the people across Romania. So he was super, super evil, super paranoid. And he was the one in charge when all of this stuff was happening in Romania. And like most people forget about him, but he deserves to be recognized in history because he was a total ass. And it says here that 600,000 people were arrested and sentenced to imprisonment during the communist period in Romania, so from after World War II to 1989. But the terror reached its peak in 1948 to 1953, so that was under George George Dej. This is intense. Like all these people, like this whole hallway is like covered in like faces and photos. And I saw some people like crying too. Maybe their families were here? I don't know, this is intense. You guys, this place is crazy. There's basically like three floors of old prison cells and you can go into each one and there's like different information. Most of it's in Romanian, but they gave us like a pamphlet so that translates most of it to English. But being here and like learning about the Romanian history, it's like, it makes me feel so grateful for being here in the exact spot that it happened. Cause like coming from the US, like we don't know that much about it. Even though it's like really heavy, it still feels good to learn about it. I think we did the right thing in coming here, even though I'm out of suffering. This is so sad, it's really sad. I don't like this. I'm not exactly, we're not encouraging you to come here. You should come, but it's just very sad. It does affect me, like it's intense. And I'm hungry. Well, it seems like the sun is out and this is kind of like an awkward transition, but we're gonna have some lunch and show you guys some traditional Romanian foods that we haven't tried yet, so we're very excited. 
Ready to eat? And then the uh, goulash. Okay. Is it possible to have this one for appetizer also? No, only here, this. Uh -huh. It's, it's uh, f uh, for Mushroom. rest, mushrooms. Uh -huh. Yes, it's... meat pork. Oh, with pork? Yes, meat pork. Ah, okay, okay. Um, do you want that? Yeah, we'll try that one. Yes. 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 It's normal portion. Normal. Yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, is this traditional? It's uh, from, from the morning? chef. Ah, from the chef. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. You still want that one? Okay. Then this one, the cutlets. Okay. Uh, it's enough? Yes. Okay. Thanks, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So the first dish that we're going to try today is goulash. That name might be familiar to a lot of people. That's because it's Hungary's national dish and I think it's generally kind of popular in the region. But Maramuris, the region where we're in, just like Transylvania, was part of the Hungarian kingdom for many, many years. So that's why a lot of foods here had Hungarian influence. So I think there's like a ton of paprika and that's why it has this red color. Chunks of beef. What else? I think beef tripe. It's very soul warming food, which is good because it is a little bit chilly today. The sun did come out, but it's still a little bit cool. Mm. There's something in it that gives like my throat a tickle. I think it's like a ton of paprika, but it also has like dill and other spices. I really love the flavors. I love the stewed beef in there. I don't love the tripe. So I don't think I'm gonna eat that. And it also comes with all the bread you could ever want. In a cute little bowl. I'm a fan of borscht, but the tripe is kind of throwing me off. <laughs> this is the third time I ordered it here in Romania, but this is the first time that it comes with chunks of, of the insides. That you know. Mm -hmm. mm. That I know. The flavor is awesome. I like borscht a lot. It's so borscht. It's goulash. goulash. Well, have I been saying borscht the whole time? This, this is the third time. Now I'm trying something called paprikash, which is a Hungarian dish again, and this is forest mushrooms with cream and it's served with like polenta on the side. Forest mushrooms are very popular here in Romania, we have seen them all over the markets, and we this is the first time we order anything with forest mushrooms, so let's see. I don't know what the cream is, it smells really good and it's like warm and like very like cozy and it's I'm very cold right now, so this is gonna be awesome. It tastes like a mushroom. I feel like the cream, like this should be like a pasta sauce. Is it like, Alfredo? No, like it's better. It's like, I don't even know like what the cream, like what the base is. Maybe like that sour cream that they use here that it's like not too sour. I don't know. The mushrooms are delicious. This is very good. It doesn't look that good, but it is good. So what I'm trying I think is called Tochitura Maramushenya. So this is actually from the region of Maramurish. And I think this is the cream that Aymara was talking about. That's probably what the base is for that forest mushroom soup, whatever that is. <laughs> and the, the food in Maramurish, it's like very, very rich. It's because it's the most northern point in all of Romania. So it's all like kind of like mountain food and all very like hearty. This has at least three different types of meats in it. It has sausage, chicken, I think this is beef or pork. It might have pork and pork with the polenta and the cream and I think some cheese. Good thing I'm hungry. We're gonna start with the sausage. Sausage is everywhere in Romania. It's probably their national dish. I'm gonna claim it. Let's see how it is. Hmm. It has a very nice flavor. It's like a smoky sausage. I think the brown sauce is kind of like a, a gravy, also with like a little bit of like paprika, probably a lot of butter. And it's also a very hearty dish. And now I'm gonna show you guys the pork. This is Romania's favorite meat, so I can't not show you guys the pork. It's always it's very good. like slow cooked. Mm -hmm. mm. It's always yummy. Yeah. Very tender. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Finally, it arrived. The one and only papanash. We have been waiting like 45 minutes for this. So, papanash is very popular here in Romania, and I haven't had it since Brasov. 
and I really, really liked it there. And it's basically just like a fried donut, like a bowl with jam, very fresh, homemade, and a delicious cream that is like sweet, but not too sweet, sour, but not too sour. It's perfect. Papa Nash. This is what you have to eat. Like you come to Romania, you eat this many times. So Siget is also known for being the birthplace of Elie Wiesel. And right now we're actually standing inside his old home. So Elie Wiesel, that name might sound familiar. He was the most known, I guess, Holocaust survivor. He also became a very important like activist, human rights activist, an author, Nobel Peace Prize winner, uh, professor, etc. A very, very remarkable human. Most people don't know that he is Romanian. And definitely most people don't know that he is from Siget. But here we are, standing in his old home. Oh. Yeah, it's a very, very small museum. We're not going to bore you with the details of it, but we wanted to stop by because we were in Siget. And when are we going to come back? I don't know. <laughs> so this is Elie Wiesel's childhood home. There was a huge like Jewish population here in Siget uh, before World War II. But then during the occupation, they were removed and sent away. Uh, so there's not, camps. Yeah, so there's not really a Jewish population here anymore, which is very, very sad, obviously. But yeah. uh, it's nice to, I guess, to see be here and this house. remember them. Yeah. We'll see you guys at the bar. We're not going to be first. Yeah, yet. awkward uh, transition numero dos. Cheers. Cheers. We know this video was a little bit random, but we hope you enjoyed it. We really wanted to show you like an off the beaten path location here in Romania, not with the like intention for you to like come here. I mean, you can come if you want, but for us, it's more like sharing like our journey and our experience in places like this where we're basically the only tourists because we really, really love places like this. And if you guys like Romania videos, make sure to check the travel series and we'll see you guys in the Mary Cemetery in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, let us know. Bye. <laughs>